Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. In this game, we'll see the payday. Well, guys, we know... Influential with this taste for sure, David. Thank you. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Davis. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. The scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. And now the Lakers' starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Avery Bradley is out there with Green, and it's McGee in at center. And for Houston, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Tucker and Capella are up front, and it's House and at the three, the small forward. And a big summer for the Lakers, trading for Anthony Davis for a time. Greg, it even looked like they had a great shot at landing Kawhi Leonard. And he ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives rise to a compelling rivalry. The nexus of NBA basketball has shifted to the city of Angels. Whichever team you root for, L.A. fans with a lot to celebrate. Four on the shot clock. James finds Davis. Can't hit that one. And the Rockets take it the other way. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. Here's Harden. The offensive rebound. And the dunk by Capella. Hey, you got to put a body on Capella. I mean, he's a tenacious offensive rebounder and does a nice job using his body. A pass to Davis. Shoots over Tucker. That's good from Davis on the assist by Bradley. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Green against Harden. Passes it to Tucker. And Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Westbrook against Bradley. McGee with the block. And they get it back. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Pass to House. It's another look. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot blocking. Here's Westbrook. He's coming off a 31-point game against Portland. It is passing also off the charts in that game. In just about every aspect of their offense, he was dialed in. Lakers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russell's career. He can't get that one to fall. Bradley with some nice D. On the wing, Green. He's covered by Westbrook, and it's Green missing. The Rockets trail. From deep, Harden. Leaps for it, and Davis pulls it down. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Davis inside. He's covered by Westbrook. And that one's good by Davis. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Westbrook passes to House. Back to Westbrook. On deep. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. The mid-range jump shot, you've talked about this a lot, is still valuable if you here. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Clint Capella. 
Gordon comes in for Daniel House. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Green. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Avery Bradley. Now here's McLemore. 17 points for him last game against Portland. Barry's the long range jumper. Quick release from Gordon. Like seeing him shoot it as soon as he gets it. Pass to Howard. A minute 42 left here in the first quarter. Kicks to Davis. Three pointer. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. That's seven points for Davis. 131 left in the first quarter. And now Rivers. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Outside Gordon. And another three for Houston. You cannot let Gordon get it going from the perimeter, Kevin. I mean, he's an incredibly consistent and persistent long-range shooter. Here is Cook. He's coming off a 22-point game against Orlando. Now the pass to Kuzma. Plays it up and banks it in. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. For Houston, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Now here's Rivers. Not a lot of room. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Cook dishes to Caldwell Pope. We've got 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid-range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. And here's Gordon. He has six. Point range. No good on the last second attempt there. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Lakers lead by two. Just an inspiring story, Greg. It gives you perspective on why you should be grateful for everything you have. Kevin, without a doubt. Capella's upbringing helped shape him, and, and the hard work he continues to put in is really admirable. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So the Lakers five right now. They've got Howard. Caldwell Pope out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Caruso in at the point guard. Daniels with it. He's against Gordon. Howard finds Caldwell Pope, just five on the clock. From deep. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Well, you know, for so long, Mike D'Antoni has been a vanguard on NBA offense. His teams have always play great offense moving spacing dynamic players um, defense has not been at the level of offense but I think he's actually improved as a coach in that area as well looking at who's out there now for the Rockets Clint Capella he's checked in for Chandler Manuel House comes in for Gordon James Harden he's checked in for Ben McLemore and it's Russell Westbrook in for Austin Rivers they've been struggling here on offense yeah a bit of a dry spell for sure Daniels kicks to Kuzma is it to Caruso? Pass to Howard. Here's Caruso. Capella covering. Daniel from outside. And again, the Lakers no good. 
And Clark, part of it for Dan Tony is that he is delegating defensive duties. Yeah, and I like that, Kevin. He's made sure to have a defensive coordinator on his staff delegating that role and responsibility. Uh, he thinks and knows that his team is better off that way. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Daniels has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, I tell you what, you just cannot help but be in awe of the offensive dominance James Harden has had over the last few years. I mean, he's done so much for this team and done it with both his scoring and playmaking. And when you look at usage rates, Harden is the offense for this team. Yeah, you look at Harden's numbers over the last few years, and it has been absolutely ridiculous what he's done. I mean, there's no player who's had a better three-year stretch in the history of the league. 30-plus points per game seasons the last few years, the near triple-double the year before. I mean, he's a marked man for every opponent, and he's still been able to put up these kinds of numbers. Absolutely amazing. First one falls for him. Players are sure racking up a lot of miles, Clark. A lot of games, a lot of flights, a lot of late nights, early mornings. But in some ways, it must be easier these days than it was, say, 20 years ago when you were playing. It's easier now than it was when I played. I mean, we had commercial flights and 6 a.m. flights. These guys now actually have charter services. And heck, I often think that the guys before me had it much worse yes. Yes. than I did. So it's all relative. But clearly, it's hard. It's demanding but they also have the very best of care in getting to and from the cities across the league. Cephalosha against James, and the shot goes down. LeBron's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. Tell you what, if he's within shouting distance of the basket, he's going to get his buckets. You can count on that. And the dunk by Capella. He's a high percentage scorer for a reason now. Capella, an alley-oop specialist. L.A.'s gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Kuzma passes to LeBron. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. LeBron's game has a real shine to it. Spit pops. And he's got a great feel of when to attack from there. He gets Harden with the drive. No good. Shot missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Daniels passes to LeBron. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. James is really a clever player. I mean, he uses trickery as much as he does brute force, proving to be one step ahead of them there. Harden inside the three-point line. They get the rebound. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. The Lakers in the lead. And the Lakers call time here. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston this season. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Yeah, plenty of opportunity here, guys, to get on each other's bad side. I mean, if they weren't already. Should make for some fairly high drama. Tucker, he's checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. And then for Los Angeles, Davis has checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Green comes in for Troy Daniels. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Alex Caruso. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Westbrook scanning the floor. It's Harden with the drive. That one, no good. Great D that time from Green. And LeBron throws it down. Yeah, you know, LeBron plays a very mistake-free game, usually in the open court. And when he's out on the break, the points are almost a guarantee. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Not going to go that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. You guys, you just can't afford to give away points 
from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and you know, to come up short at the line is frustrating because that's controllable and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. Shots good by Green. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Harden against Green. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by the Lakers. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. LeBron's got the lead up to 10 now for Los Angeles. Houston's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Green against Harden. Pass to House. Back to Harden. Tucker dishes to Westbrook. It's good from long range. Westbrook's got six here in this quarter. Certainly starting to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game. His second in this quarter. Here's Cook. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three. You fire three of your own. Boom. The three from Harden. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it? And is that helping you score? Uh, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with it. You know how I'm trying to, you know, help our teammates. You know, I'm, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the floor. That's banged it up with 15 points, two rebounds, and three assists. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what you think? Yeah, coaches. Do Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. Tucker and Capella are up front. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. And it's House and at the three. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. Here's Harden. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Davis. You know, no matter how you feel about James Harden, you've got to respect his love for the game. I mean, he absolutely lives and breathes basketball, and that passion has driven him to become the player he is today. Two shots. Relax on the first. Free throw good, James Harden. And Clark, last year Harden was quoted in saying, most players don't really love basketball. Well, I don't know about most. That seems a bit extreme. Maybe he feels that they don't love it as much as he does, which certainly you could understand. But I can say that very few players have the drive and determination to improve their game the way Harden has. That's part of why he's been an MVP. And both free throws good for James Harden. Mark, we're seeing a lot of shooters drawing contact. Uh, they have that art form down. They know exactly what to do and how to position their bodies, don't they? Yeah, they really do, Kevin. And I don't know if anybody's any better than James Harden, in part because he's so skilled with the ball, but he's a really thick, strong, agile guard, which makes him hard to defend without fouling him. And he's really developed that ability to seek contact in a legal manner. And... I don't think anybody does it any better than him. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. The pass to Capella. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on JaVale McGee. You know, it's really hard to match up against Clint Capella's height and length. I mean, sometimes you got to foul it. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. 
not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Guys, I think free throw shooting, and, and Steve, you can speak to this, is all about rhythm and confidence, and he hasn't been able to establish any rhythm there this season. And that one misses. And a boon it was for the Rockets to be able to keep Clint Capella a great fit with the team and, and gives them exactly what they need on the interior. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. And he's good on the second. And Greg Capella, who was taken near the end of the first round back in 2014 in the draft, has developed well during his time with Houston. And Capella's game has really taken off in the last few seasons. He looks to be a double-double machine for this team for the next handful of years, and that is exactly what they need. James, solid play in the low block, and that one's good. James has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Westbrook with it. Nine points in the game so far. And he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on it. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he can't get the first one. And Russell Westbrook is as explosive a guard as we've seen in the history of the game. An incredibly gifted scorer who can also punch it on you. And the second free throw, good. The Rockets making a switch here. Cephalosha's checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. Caldwell Pope comes in for LeBron. And Daniels subbed in for Danny Green. Capella finds Cephalosha. And some nice passing there by Houston. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Six on the shot clock. Harden outside. Harden draws the double. Here's Tucker. No good there. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. On the wing, Daniels. Guarded by Tucker. Fades away. It's rebounded by Houston. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound in this one. Over Daniels. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Clark, you and I are amazed at how the global interest of the NBA has just gone through the roof. Uh, the league has made a lot of right moves, I think, in this area. They sure have, Kevin. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, the international reach through what coaches in this country have done in teaching the game and promoting the game, not just coaches but players as well. I think there's something about the game of basketball that just really transcends cultures, the pace of the game, the personality of the players, the creativity of the game. All of that lends itself to being so popular globally. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Alex Crusoe comes in for Bradley. And both free throws, good for Westbrook. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Passes to Caruso. Here is Daniels, guarded by Harden. Now Daniels, down to five on the shot clock. And well pulled with a wide open look. That three off the mark. A decent amount of time left as they try to find a way back into it. Yeah, but it will be soon if they don't start cutting into this deficit. 
Now, here's Capella. Nine points in the game so far. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Westbrook. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Oh, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? The a great assessment. Good report. Thank you so much. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Shooting two. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Capella. Gordon comes in for Cephalosha. McLemore's checked in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Quinn Cooks checked in for the Lakers. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Rockets trail by 12. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's McLemore. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Coldwell Pope with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. And he gets the bucket. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. There's McLemore. Money from the wing. Yeah, he recognized the overcommitment by the defense there and then made a smart pass to get that ball back outside. Now, when he came into the league, Aaron Gordon was tagged as a shooter. Now he's been shooting more than ever. And Gordon the last few seasons has been shooting, how about this, over eight threes a game. His success rate with them has gone up and down over the years, but one thing is for sure, he always has the green light. Here is Cook, guarded by McLemore. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. It's on Tyson Chandler. Nice job that time using that strong body of his inside. Once Howard has positioning, I think you got to wrap him up. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' Shoot take two. on the scoring so far for the Lakers. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And when you think of Howard, defense and rebounding immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. Daniel House has checked in for the Rockets. The Lakers also making some changes. LeBron's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's green in for Alex Caruso. And he sinks the second. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for Houston. 11-point game. To the middle. Here's Gordon. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Gordon's got eight points. And Gordon doing a nice job measuring these inside shots well. I mean, has a solid, quick release pretty much from anywhere on the floor. James in the post, guarded by McLemore. James with the bucket. James has got 21 in the game. Houston's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Pass to McLemore. We've got 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. Lock at six. Pass to Rivers. Takes the three. Kuzma pulls it in. Green kicks to Cook. Over McLemore. Missed. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit. We'll make it tough to come back. 
Lakers on top. They lead by 11. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. So for the Lakers right now, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. JaVale McGee is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Bradley in at the point. Rivers against Bradley. Now here's Gordon, guarded close, and it's Capella missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Outside, Gordon. Houston needs to get a shot. From deep, McLemore. He can't hit that time. Good D by LeBron. Green, the pass to Brent. LeBron outside. The feed to Davis over Gordon. That's good from Davis on the assist by LeBron. LeBron's got four assists in the game. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. Now a timeout called by Houston. Clark, we know you have great passion for the game of basketball. Any passions that our fans may not know about? Um, yeah, I enjoy golf. I'm a, an avid reader, as you well know, Kevin. We actually share book titles on occasion. Obviously, food is universal, and there's nothing I turn down. I try to eat certain things in moderation. Uh, but I enjoy board games, too. In terms of sports, I'm a fan of football, both college and pro. Enjoy playing golf and board games and reading, probably, are what occupy my time. James Harden, he's jacked in for Houston. Russell Westbrook comes in for Rivers. Green against Gordon. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. You know, Capella, one of the very best in the league at getting out of the screen and getting to the right spot. Lakers leading by 15. The pass to McGee. quarter of play about two minutes in now here's James and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line they get Russell West you know that's one of the reasons LeBron is so hard to defend Kevin I mean he puts you in a tough spot forces you to foul him because he's so strong and athletic and then he gets himself to the line shooting two Free throw good, James. Still playing at an MVP level, LeBron James, the greatest player of his generation, and, and some would argue of all time. We can't take for granted what we've been able to witness. Houston making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. And now in his mid-30s, LeBron showing no sign of slowing down. Man, his dedication to training and, and really maintaining his body second to none. Uh, alongside his prodigious athleticism, it seems that's made a huge difference. Goes back up. He lays it in. LeBron's got 25 points. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. They get it back. Here's Capella up and in on the layup. Capella's got four this quarter. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. And here is Davis. The drive by James, and James throws it down. 
And, you know, you come to expect this type of play from LeBron. I mean, he's relentless when he's in attack mode. Here's Westbrook. Sinks that one from the post. Coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher. And coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Pass to LeBron. Now Davis. Over Westbrook. And Westbrook pulls it down. Westbrook's got five rebounds tonight. He kicks to house. Pass to Tucker. Shoots over Bradley. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers leading by 17. Pass to Davis. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Green with the ball. Back to LeBron with the shot. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got six rebounds in the game. Harden can't hit. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Green. On the wing, Davis. Over Harden. Another shot. McGee's shot is off. Rockets trail by 17. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Lakers. The biggest factor tonight had to be their great shooting. They shot much better than the other team. Yeah, they were working hard on both sides of the floor, but that sky-high field goal percentage plus the pressure defense to force the other team into a lot of misses. Love the effort tonight. And on the year, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight, Greg. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the players. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for LeBron. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Kellogg and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.